Battle of the Network shows. Join Rick Brooks and Mike Kogel as they explore the TV of the 70s and 80s through hand-picked episodes of their favorite and not-so-favorite series. Welcome to Battle of the Network Show's bonus episode. I'm Mike. And I'm Rick. Hello, everyone. And today we're going to be playing a new game. Honestly, this is probably the only time I'll play this. I don't know if there's enough information to continue to fuel this game. Yeah. But uh, if, if you uh, listen to our What's Happening episode, then you might have uh, heard when uh, I suggested that guitar player and one of the singers and songwriters for the Doobie Brothers, Gary, uh, Patrick <laughs> Simmons, <laughs> Reminds me of Gary Sandy from WKRP in Cincinnati. Mm. So we're going to play a game now. I'll be reading the questions, and Rick will be trying to answer them. And uh, I, along with our crack research team, worked this up. It's called Gary Sandy or Patrick Simmons. Uh, it seems pretty straightforward. I uh, yeah, I, I'll give you a couple okay. pointers. One, it's possible an answer or two could be Gary Sandy and Patrick Simmons. Okay. Um, and also the term worked with is a little loose. Okay. So it could mean, you know, a song appeared in something. With okay. Song. So. Fair enough. Let me just say that uh, I will assure people that I have not seen the uh, the questions or anything. Yeah. And I have not studied the careers of uh, Patrick Simmons nor Gary Sandy since we covered those episodes in our season six. Before that, you were an avid. <laughs> right, yeah. I used to be all over those uh, those yeah. guys. You were going to write a master's thesis on yeah. the Gary Sandy, right? Uh, <laughs> all right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So, uh, got a little music playing, and here we go. Both Gary Sandy and Patrick Simmons appeared in sitcoms with notable locations. So, L.A. for what's happening. Cincinnati for Gary Sandy. Uh, That's right. <laughs> Do I get credit for that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Which one, Gary Sandy or Patrick Simmons, was born in the same state as that sitcom location? Oh, boy. Um, I think I know this one. I think I'm going to say Gary Sandy. Correct. He was born in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Patrick Simmons was born in Aberdeen, Washington. But well, that's interesting. He, I didn't know. he did grow up in Northern California. Okay. He obviously did not grow up in what neighborhood did they live in? Watts. I think it was supposed to be. I don't know if they were ever explicit <laughs> with it. But. <laughs> he didn't go to high school in L.A. with yeah. rerun. No. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> yeah. You might, you'll might. you probably get this one, too. Did Gary Sandy or Patrick Simmons return for a late 80s reunion of his most notable gig? Yes, I'm going to say both of them did. Incorrect. No! Oh. Patrick Simmons, of course, was there for the Doobie Brothers' return. And, and actually is the only member who's been in the band the entire time. Gary Sandy was not in... The new WKRP? No. Because oh. Andy Travis was mentioned, but he didn't appear. In oh, man. Yeah, okay. No wonder I didn't watch the new WKRP. <laughs> <laughs> Who worked with a doctor? Who worked with a doctor? Well, I believe that would be both. Correct. Do you want to say what doctors? Well, Gary Sandy worked with uh, Dr. Johnny Fever. Correct. And Patrick Simmons, well, music is the doctor. Yeah. So <laughs> there, you, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> Or how I have it written on here. Simmons with music, dash, the doctor. Yes. <laughs> exactly, yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Who opened a vintage motorcycle company in the 1980s? That's got to be Gary Sandy. Incorrect. Oh. That's Patrick Simmons. Wow. In 1981, he opened a vintage motorcycle shop with author William J. Craddock. Hmm. And before we go on, let's see. So you got the both one, you got that one. Get the first one. Yeah. Did not get that one. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Uh, traumatic exes there. All right. Who has worked with Isaac Hayes? Who has worked with Isaac Hayes? Boy, I got. Uh, let me see here. Gary Sandy. Correct. <laughs> That's fascinating. In <laughs> 1972, Patrick. he was a background dancer during Isaac Hayes' performance of Shaft at the what? Oscars. Yeah. What? I really hope this is on YouTube and you find it. Oh. Uh, Why? I, I can't even imagine. I don't care where it is. I'm going to find it one way or another. Like, as cool and groovy as that song is, it doesn't seem like a song that needs dancers. And, and one of especially Oscar-style dancers. Yeah. All right. Uh, and, and, like, 
I, I have this image of Isaac Hayes like playing organ while he performs this song. Yeah. But maybe he's like, so I just <laughs> have this weird image of, of him playing an organ and like a bunch of dancers, including Gary Sandy, like in leotards doing sort of almost like ballet. It's, it's, yeah. it's bizarre. I gotta admit, I knew the what of that, but I did not know the why. <laughs> I was thinking maybe Isaac Hayes had just guessed it on WKRP. Uh, yeah. Now, wow. you know, there's a, a, a more than a good chance that the Doobie Brothers and Isaac Hayes were on a, the, the, the same stage at some point, or a festival or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just didn't find evidence of that. What you found was, was good enough, yeah. so... So that was great. Uh, Gary Sandy's IMDb page is cool because uh, there's a section of that lists a bunch of his sort of non... Like, that wasn't in the IMDb credits, but, like, listed a bunch of his stage performances. Ah, wow. So, uh, but that one certainly stood out. Hmm, interesting. Uh, who has worked with the great Pat Hingle? Who has worked with the great Pat Hingle? Let me see. Gary Sandy and Patrick Simmons has worked with the great Pat Hingle. I gotta say Gary Sandy. Uh, incorrect. This one was, uh, was Patrick Simmons. Two Doobie Brothers songs appear in The Falcon and the Snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Which of course also stars Timothy Hutton and Sean Penn. Uh, China Grove and Long Train Running. Uh, wow. Uh, oh boy, that's a surprise. Who regularly tours North America? That's got to be Patrick Simmons. It is actually a both. Oh, Gary uh, of course, so- Patrick Simmons with the Doobie Brothers, but Gary Sandy uh, does a lot of stage tours. And, Still. Uh, in fact, one of our listeners saw him in. The best little house in Texas in Canada. I mentioned that Recently? on Facebook. Re- well, I, I thought that was years ago, though. Well, it might have been years okay. ago. Okay. I might have. It regularly might be a slight exaggeration. Right. But, but like, it's still to this day. Okay. He does well. do a lot of. And his website tells that, too. That he's, he's played. He's done the Music Man a lot. Maybe those aren't tours. Maybe. <laughs> Ann Margaret was. Ann Margaret was in the best little house in Texas with him. Wow, what a cast. Yeah. Gary Sandy and the Music Man. I yeah. gotta see that. I'm, I'm gonna give you partial credit on that. Uh, well, you know. I mean, you know, you made the obvious. It was a trick question a little bit. I, 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 honestly, I thought Gary Sandy was, was maybe semi-retired or retired, so I'm glad to find out that he's still active. Yeah. So, you know. Who has worked with Robert Pine? Oh, who has worked with Robert Pine? Yeah. Well, let's see. Who has worked with Robert Pine? Robert Pine, uh, Distinguished uh, Genius Award winner. That's right. It's an embedded pick your pine. Yeah. And friend of the show. Um, I feel a lot of pressure on this one, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with my... Uh, it would be too easy to say Gary Sandy. I'm going to go with my heart and say both. As far as I know, just Gary Sandy. Ah. He, and he was in an episode of Chips with, get this, Phyllis Diller and Hunts Hall. <laughs> Okay. But I'm going to give you a partial, because I didn't quite, you know, do a full... The odds are he was in something that a Doobie Brothers song was also in. Well, you know, I don't I don't want to not earn it, but if it wasn't prominently featured... Yeah. Well... Okay. It, it's a tough It's a tough game. I mean, it's tough just telling them apart, let alone going through their rich uh, yeah. background, too. Here, uh, final question. Okay. Who, who has worked with Al Pacino? Who has worked with Al Pacino? The great Al Pacino. Oh, See, I'm going through my mind. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to take a few extra minutes. Was Gary Sandy and Scarface? No. Was Gary Sandy and Son of a Woman? No. Gary Sandy, was he in Dog Day After? Maybe. Let's see. Did Al Pacino ever go on stage with the Duke Brothers? <laughs> Just Al Pacino. I'm going to say, with Al Pacino, I'm going to say, yeah. I look forward to, to whatever this the answer is, but I'm going to say Gary Sandy. That's partially correct. This is a both. <laughs> it's a both. So Gary Sandy was uh, he's in The Insider. With the Insider? All the... Uh, Russell Crowe. The, the and, 60 and, Minutes... Uh, yeah. He wow. plays a, a lawyer. Wow. I did not and I, fa- I remember when I saw that way back when in the theater, or the George Mason Theater, yeah. getting excited. Like, oh, it's that guy from WKRP. <laughs> and then... Then your friend with you is like, oh, no, it's Patrick Simmons. Right, yeah. So the Patrick Simmons one, the What a Fool Believes, appears in the movie Frankie and Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, I, I, I feel that I've been bested by this game, but uh, I feel it's a I tough learned game. a lot, though. Yeah. It, it's so, a tough game, but a worthy game, and, and I, I thank you for your, your work and the crack research team. Excellent job putting those together. So let's see. Let's, let's, let's get your 
totals here. Yeah. Let me have it. You, you grade me fairly. You don't. Well, I don't need. Uh, you know, I don't need charity. First of all, how many questions were there? I don't. That's a good question. Know. I died. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine questions. So you got three full credit. Mm. You missed three fully, and then you got three partial credit. Mm. That, that's pretty good. Well, uh, that's a good batting but, average wise. You know, the, uh, the both ones kind of throw things off a little bit. So, wait, no, no, sorry. I get. <laughs> no, you said both for Robert Pine, right? Yeah, I did. Which was... Yeah, so you got partial credit because one of them was correct. Uh, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. That's that's pretty good. It's pretty good, but it's not really up to the the level of, of excellence that Patrick Simmons and Gary Sandy set in their work. So I'm going to strive to do better next time. Okay, if there is a next time. I, yeah. Again, I don't know how much more. You went pretty deep into <laughs> it this time. I'll say that. <laughs> It'd be tough. <laughs> this is what I could find in about 15 or 20 minutes on Fair enough. during a lunch break. That has been Gary Sandy or Patrick Simmons, or Gary Sandy or Patrick Simmons. Which one was it? Uh, Gary know. Sandy. Sometimes it was Gary Sandy and Patrick Yes. Sandy. <laughs> All right. Uh, how did the Dewey Brothers not show up in WKRP? It's a, it's a shame. I imagine that there's probably a, got to have been a needle drop at least, right? I would think. Or maybe there was some kind of deal where like when they, they went on What's Happening, like yeah. CBS refused to work with them <laughs> because they did What's Happening first. Right. It was your one chance. Yeah. It's sitcom stardom. Choose wisely. Yeah. And they decided to choose the one enduring show that would hold up for years yeah what if it turned out gary sandy bought a mo- vintage motorcycle from patrick simmons see i could see that happening because the the motorcycle one that that's the was really to me i, I thought for sure that was gary sandy yeah easily could have happened their, their paths must have crossed uh you would more think. than once yeah yeah and they're even like on gary sandy's website the like there's a headshot of him and he has just like a, a little bit of a chin beard mm-hmm. and then on YouTube, a somewhat recent concert video came up, and like the little picture is Patrick Simmons, and he's got the same little beard. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, which just reconfirmed because sometimes I think, ah, oh, I'm being goofy with that, but but I really remember thinking that like it, it, I think because my uh, besides the, the it, what's happening episode, really like it was in that that comeback era, mm-hmm. the music is the doctor era. And seeing them and thinking, oh, that looks like the guy from WKRP, whose yeah. name I didn't know at the time. But, yeah, wow. But I might be the only person who thinks that. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Folks, if, if you've suffered from Patrick Simmons, Gary Sandia, dyskinesia, or whatever <laughs> right, it is, <yeah. laughs> let us know. Yeah. We're, there, we're here for you. Or if there are some other people from this time that you think we should try this game with. Yeah, that would be an interesting thing. Like, if there's, there's people that you infuse for the other. And if you have footage of uh, Isaac Hayes doing Shaft at the 1972 hey. Academy Awards. <laughs> and it's clear enough to see Gary Sandy. I'd right. like to confirm that. Yeah. Join us next time for another exciting episode of Battle of the Network Shows. Learn more. Leave feedback. And suggest future episodes at battleofthenetworkshows.com. Follow us on Twitter at Batnet Shows and like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Battle of the Network Shows. <laughs>